Patchworks of farmland litter the landscape, the lifeblood of the Ivorian economy. But the country is taking a new turn to focus on mining. Tongan gold mine, the largest in the country. It lies along the Brimian Greenstone Belt, a rock formation stretching from Senegal to Ghana. At two billion years old, it has some of the richest gold deposits in the world. A large chunk of them are under Ivorian soil. Cote d'Ivoire, in general, you know, there's a lot of potential of you know gold mining as as, as it is new. Exploration hasn't been you know done to to the extent like other mine other, other countries. So there's quite a lot of potential, and uh, Tongan is part of that you know uh, growth. And this is what it's all about. It looks like a chunk of rock to you or I, but actually it's full of tiny particles of gold. It takes a ton of these rocks to produce just one gram of gold. And that's why companies have to keep digging and digging and digging. And now Ivory Coast is heading towards a mini mining boom. The owner of Tongan mine, Rand Gold Resources, has invested close to half a billion dollars and like others across the country, they're expanding. Could Ivory Coast overtake its neighbour, Ghana? Oh, sure. But the attraction of Ivory Coast is its hurdle rate for investment in the mining industry is lower than, uh, for instance, Mali or Burkina Faso or even Senegal because it's got grid power. It's got good infrastructure. So for an explorer like us, it's an exciting place because it hasn't been explored. But digging for gold isn't a quick fix for the economy. It can take up to 15 years from discovery to production. So for investors, they need to be sure the country's decade of instability and conflict is in the past. But as long as the gold keeps coming, so will the interest. And this is what every gold company dreams of. This bar of gold is worth close to a million dollars. You can see how heavy it is. Uh, a few more of these and Ivory Coast will have its name permanently stamped on the gold industry. Thomas in Ford, BBC News, Ivory Coast. <laughs>